What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Hot Topics TV. This is our podcast listening style. We got to talk about this. Uh, I'm going to ask you all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on Hot Topics TV. For those of y'all who don't know, I have a bigger channel on YouTube that's called SoFlow TV. S-O-U-F-L-O-T-V. Link in the description. You can go over there and hit the subscribe button over there and support a brother on all platforms because I'm really out here trying to get it. Right? All right. So let's get into the topic today. This is going to be a bit triggering for some people, but I don't know any other way to be but to be real and raw right okay so lebron james his oldest son Bronny james jr just went to his high school prom everybody is like yay times are flying by we watch these babies grow up now they're grown into adulthood almost he's 17 you know 18 is the legal adult age and he just graduated high school young man is going on to do great things with his life but but the internet was in shambles when people realized who this young man took to the prom oh my god so let me go through this article for you real quick and then I'm going to share my opinion and I hope you will share your opinion in the comment section below as well. Let's put it like this, brother Umar Johnson, <laughs> he had a lot to say. Um, there are many people who have a lot to say about who LeBron James's son took to his prom and some of the comments are valid and some of them are just far reaching and you know out the way but let's get into this real quick okay so i'm going all the way across the pond for this one right this is the daily mail uk this is in the uk uh lebron james 17 year old son Bronny, he is trolled with vile and racist abuse for taking a white girl to his high school prom after sharing photos of the couple heading to the event in a custom $326,000 Mercedes Benz. Okay, first of all, let me say this. There's a lot of people who've been working their whole lives that don't have a hundred thousand dollars in savings and i'm talking about they're close to retirement right now right they've been working longer than Bronny james has been alive and they don't have close to a hundred thousand dollars in retirement savings right now and he skates off in a three hundred and twenty six thousand dollar custom mercedes-benz sport car with a white girl mm. Black man, white girl, that, that, that dynamic always causes a stir. Oh, oh, it always causes a stir. A lot of people got a lot to say, but listen to this. So LeBron James, 17-year-old son, Bronny, is being trolled, right? LeBron, Raymond, Bronny, James Jr. LeBron, Raymond, Bronny, James Jr. is his full name. He is the eldest of the basketball legend, LeBron James. And he shared a series of images of himself and his prom date on Instagram on Wednesday of last week, prompting some bitter backlash and racist criticism from trolls who made cruel comments about his choice of companion for the event for the evening. I know y'all can guess right now there's a lot of sisters, a lot of black women in there, and a lot of brothers too that were saying this ain't it, this ain't the way. But don't worry, he had a lot of people come to his defense as well, right? So Bronny attended the school dance with this past weekend with one of his classmates, a teenager herself. Her name is Peyton Gelfuso. However, some people on the internet were not very happy with this decision to take someone who is quote-unquote light-skinned to the prom 
and social media has soon been flooded with a slew of nasty comments about the two getting together. Somebody said, not a light-skinned woman already. Damn. Another person said, well, on the bright side, LeBron James has other kids. Maybe, just maybe, those ones will do better. <laughs> okay. That girl is whiter than white, bruh, is what another person wrote, wrote. That girl is whiter than white, bruh. And then another person says, damn. You should have took a black queen like your dad. And then they left the angry face emoji next to that comment. You know, LeBron James, he is African-American or black, whichever one you want to go with. Um, and he, he's been with the same woman his entire life, pretty much. This is his high school sweetheart, right? They completed high school together. LeBron didn't go to college. He went straight to the league. And he has never been in trouble. I always commend him for being the consummate professional. He has never been in scandals. He has never been in trouble. His name has never came up in anything negative in the media. None of that. He is just a stellar role model clean squeaky clean record kind of guy and a perfect example that black love means something and that love period and holding your family together means something not only that his wife who happens to be black she is a shining example of being that woman behind the all-powerful man Right, because you know she got to hold it down on the home front and make sure everything is okay there. So the breadwinner and the big star, which is LeBron James, he has all the time in the world to focus on his fitness, focus on perfecting his craft, his game, and earning and honoring those contracts that he has signed for all those endorsements, making all those appearances, traveling to different places. You know, wifey got to make sure that the children are being raised right, that everything is good on the home front that probably even her hopes and dreams for herself are put on a back burner because she has to facilitate what her husband has going on and i can't imagine it being anything else other than a wild ride and a life in the lap of luxury for her lebron is worth a whole lot of money and we're not here to talk about lebron though we're here to talk about his son so a lot of people are saying boy your mama is the perfect example of who you should have been looking for in a woman. A strong black woman that's able to hold it together for you and support you all the way to superstardom. But here you are already starting out with these white girls. That's pretty much what the comment meant, right? So uh, that girl is whiter than white, bruh. Another one says, should have got you a black queen like your dad did. Lost another black king to a money-hungry white girl is what another comment said. Lost another black king to a money-hungry white girl. Oh, may I remind you all that LeBron James is the greatest basketball of, um, player of his times in his generation. Not saying he's the greatest of all time. We all know that that's Michael Jordan. And, and LeBron hasn't matched Michael yet. But... He is the greatest of his generation in his time, right? But check this out. His son, Bronny, the one who went to the prom with the white girl, he is on his way to the NBA as well, my friend. So this kind of looks like, you know, people are looking at his prom date like, oh, he got this little white girl. She probably sunk her hooks into his ship already. You know, because she knows that this ship is going places. And even if it never does go anywhere, if Bronny never becomes famous on his own, if he never makes it to the league and signs a multi-million dollar contract on his own, his daddy is already filthy rich. And he has already went to the prom in a $326,000 custom Mercedes-Benz Sports. You understand? So money is already in the air. 
some people are getting paranoid right now because they're like, yo, if she if she like let him hit it without a condom and he like gets her pregnant, she's in the money regardless. She's going to be collecting one of those fifty, a hundred thousand dollars a month child support money because he's the son of LeBron James. And she's going to use her womb to bring LeBron James's grandson into the world, which means regardless of what. She will always be in the money. You see what I'm saying? It's, it, a lot of people are looking at her like she's plotting her way to financial success, basically. Someone else branded her a gold digger. Out of the blue, they just called this girl a gold digger. Quoting the lyrics from the song Gold Digger by Kanye West. She takes my money when I'm in need. Oh, she's a trifling <laughs> friend indeed. I got a gold digger way over town. I think that was a bit over the top. You know, I mean, they are high school teenagers, man, graduating high school. Now, while other people showed their disappointments by not even saying any words, they just posted a bunch of gifts and memes you know, with the disappointed faces and all that other stuff. Now, other people, they were online defending Bronny James. One person said, Bronny James really has grown adults out here in shambles over the fact that he took a white girl to a prom in 2022. Can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Now, check it out, man. We a bit late on this because obviously it's 2023, right? But the discussion is still to be had. So he takes her to the prom. Um, it, 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 <laughs> I don't know. On one hand, I want to say, why are we up in an uproar about this? On the other hand, you know, we have to be honest. If we're going to keep it 100% real, all the way real, we got to be honest. We cannot ignore the, the history of of black people in America. We cannot ignore the history of whites and their maltreatment of black people in America. I'm not saying every white person because we have white people that were out there fighting for our freedoms right alongside us too from way back when up until today. So I've never subscribed to the theory that all white people are racist. And I've never subscribed to the theory that uh, you need to stick to your own race. I think people love who they love. And I've always promoted that. Like, love who loves you. Life is short. You don't know where real love is going to come from for you. And when it does come, I hope that you're able to embrace it. Now, as far as LeBron James uh, Jr. or Bronny James Jr. and his high school girlfriend, come on now. That's puppy love. That's puppy love. And the average high schooler that's 17 years old and graduating from high school, nobody really cares who the hell they're going to the prom with. What do you tell most high schoolers? You tell them, go ahead and focus on college, baby. And don't pay no attention to this relationship stuff. Do not get pregnant early if it's a girl. If it's a boy, you tell him, do not go out here and hit anything raw and become a father early because it's going to affect your journey to success. You understand? Right now, you need to focus on this, that, and the other. And the person that you're with right now, if you guys work out down the road where you are mature adults in your mid-20s going up to 30, 25 to 30, and you feel like you still want to get married, then by all means, go ahead, right? But right now, you're probably going to look back 5, 10 years from now and realize that you're not with the person you went to the prom with. Most people did not marry their prom date. Most people did not have their prom date become their life partner, right? So I don't understand on one hand why people are so up in arms about it. But on the other hand, you have to understand that it was in 2022 in the United States of America, we had high schools in the South that just now had their first integrated prom. They did away with two proms. Go look it up. 
There's a school in the South. I don't remember if it's South Carolina or Georgia or Mississippi, Alabama. It's in one of those southern states. But they just got to a place where they said, we no longer need two proms. They used to have the black prom and the white prom. And they just did away with it in 2022. So we can pretend all we want to that the prom is not a big deal, but it is. Prom is a big deal. If it wasn't a big deal, a lot of people wouldn't put so much into it, right? You get a tuxedo, you get a nice car, you get um, your, some people have their clothing tailor-made. These girls are now having designer dresses or t having their dresses tailor-made, you know? And it's, it's all about looking a certain way for the night and creating memories because you can't do over your prom in real time. It's a once in a lifetime thing. It's that mark that you are now done with high school and you're ready to step into adulthood. Young adulthood, you're going off to college. You're putting behind you your junior high, your high school memories, your, you know, all that other stuff. It's a big deal. And for him to share that big deal with a white girl, damn, that's what a lot of people are thinking. They're like, man, you could have shared that with a sister. You could have shared that with a beautiful black girl who would have been overjoyed to just be in your presence, would have been overjoyed to be in that $326,000 custom Mercedes Benz heading to the prom where she can brag for the rest of her life. That I went to my high school prom with the son of one of the greatest basketball players that ever lived. The greatest of his time, LeBron James. Bronny James, before he even made it to the NBA. Me and Bronny James were cool. He thought enough of me to think I was beautiful enough to take to the prom. Any black girl. But nah, you shared it with a white girl. So people are up in arms about this. It's a real discussion. Now, another Twitter user said, man... This is a bunch of hating ass motherfuckers on this thread. The kid will most likely play in the NBA with his legendary dad and he will go on to make millions of dollars in salary and endorsements. He can go to the prom with who the F he wants to and the rest of us ain't gonna do shit about it regardless of our opinions. So STFU already. STFU. Shut the up already. It's hilarious. Somebody else says it's hilarious seeing all these black people have an issue with his prom choice. Bro, y'all are so pathetic. Read a different tweet. Get off of it. Another person says mother effers who are happy with their lives. They don't make assumptions about teenagers based on their skin color or their dates. Another person says, black people scream, <laughs> black people scream racism and then they go there when dude gets a white girl, shaking my head. And another person says, maybe let's just let the kids enjoy their prom without trashing him and his date. He looks great. She looks great. Just let them go off and have a good evening and create some beautiful memories about prom night, man. She looks great. They are not responsible for any feelings, good, bad, or otherwise, that their picture brings to other people outside of them. Happy prom night, guys. These dudes on here need to remember that they're talking about someone's underage daughter replied another person the blonde hair beauty who is a senior at Seattle Canyon School where Bronnie is a junior donned an all white haltered gown with a plunging neckline for the event the sparkling dress was covered head to toe in crystals and feathers and it left her long legs on full display now check it out at the school where they go to she's a senior he's a junior so this ain't his prom this is her prom he pulled out all the stops 
the three hundred and twenty-six thousand dollar custom Mercedes Benz, the suit, everything for her prom. And this ain't even his prom because he's a junior. His prom is coming up now. A lot of people are speculating this is his girlfriend. Nah, they're just friends. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. We are going to know how serious it is when his prom comes around and she is the date. If she is the date to his prom, which is a year after her prom, that's going to tell you a lot right there. That They are together, right? I guess that's going to break some, <laughs> I guess that's going to break some people's heart. Now, Bronny, for his part, he looked dapper. He is in a blue and black pattern tuxedo, which he paired with blue suede shoes. Ah, the school that Bronny and Peyton attend together, Sierra Canyon School. That school costs some $40,000 a year to attend that school. And it was previously attended by other famous faces like Kylie and Kendall Jenner. So in other words, this is a school where you got to have some money for your children to attend here. So for the people who are saying she's probably some broke white trash girl or she probably comes from some poor family and they are now about to get rich because she is hooked up with LeBron James's son since high school. I want y'all to understand something. They already have money. I don't know who her daddy is. I'm about to go do my research. I don't know who her mommy is. I don't know what they own, but I know that they have money already. $40,000 a year is more than a lot of Americans make per year for salary, working almost every damn day. And they have enough to pay $40,000 a year for her to attend the same school that he attends. Now, Bronny drove himself. And his date to the prom in the whole getup that I keep talking about. The car looks nice. Okay. If you're a car enthusiast, then that's one of those cars for you. The car looks really, really good. The picture was originally shared in 2017 by someone who claimed to be the niece of LeBron's date, but they have been reshared amid the recent response to his son's prom companion. Peyton shared a snap of himself, of herself, in her stunning dress to her other account. But when Bronnie complimented her in the comment section, that's when the post was flooded with hate. It was okay for her to post it, long as he didn't take it too serious. But if he's going to go out of his way to go find her on social media and put comments under her comment section... Wow. He said you kill uh the photo showed her staring straight towards the camera as her curled locks fell around her face. You killed is what Bronnie wrote alongside a heart-eyed emoji. Now LeBron Raymond James Jr. I am so disappointed and dissatisfied with you prom date, one person said. Here's a funny thing. In the wake of Bronny's backlash, an alleged photo of LeBron James at his own prom with a white girl has surfaced online. Did LeBron James go to the prom with a white girl? <laughs> and you see, he married his high school sweetheart though, right? Okay, so back to what I was saying before. Most of us did not marry the person who we went to the prom with, right? It pretty much looks like prom night for LeBron here with a little, you know, a little vanilla on his arm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody said, delete this damn comment, LeBron James Jr. <laughs> People are up in arms. I'm disappointed in you, brother, wrote another one. LeBron James' mom, Savannah James, she took to Instagram to congratulate her son. And basically, she says, so, at Bronny went from, she said she, she is just... Watching time pass by, man, and realizing a lot of things. This woman is realizing her baby is about to go out into the world as a man, okay? She ain't sweating all the small talk at this point. Yeah, she she's not sweating all the small talk at this point. 
his mama is more concerned about her, her how her baby is doing. So his mom, Savannah James, she took to Instagram to congratulate her son on attending the big event. And she said she felt tons of emotions after seeing her eldest son go to the prom. So at Bronnie went to prom this past weekend, tons of emotions and realizations. Time really flies. She gushed. So proud of you, young man. I will always have your front and your back. She shared a photo that showed her tying Bronnie's bow tie, while another one featured her fixing his bow tie. The final pic in the post showed Bronnie's younger sister, Zuri James, seven years old looking at the camera with a serious expression on her face <laughs> and her brother stood in his prom fit right behind her. Zuri is processing all of this too. Savannah added in the caption that Zuri is processing all of this too. Not processing seeing her brother with a white girl, processing the fact that her brother, her sibling is hitting a milestone. He's off to senior prom. I mean, I don't think it's his prom, but his prom will be this year, like I said before, but it's still a realization. It's a big deal, right? LeBron, who also shares son, Bryce Maximus James, who is 14 with Savannah, reposted her picture to his own account, adding one thing, she don't play about her effing brothers. And that's what he posted about his sister. One thing about her, she don't play about her effing brothers. And it shows her little serious face looking at her, you know, looking at the camera like, damn, boy. Anyhow, I'll leave it at this. Last April, for, um, last April, the former president, Donald Trump, called the professional basketball player a racist after he spoke out about the police killing a 16-year-old Ohio teenager online Donald Trump called LeBron James a racist I think he even went as far as to say we don't pay you to um for your opinions or we don't pay you to have opinions we pay you to play basketball so shut up and dribble or some shit like that was said anyhow the NBA star who is now 37 years old he tweeted a photo of Nicholas Redon a Columbus uh, police officer who shot and killed Micaiah Bryant on April 20th of 2021 and he captioned the image of the officer and he says, you're next. Hashtag accountability. But Trump was so unhappy with LeBron's response, calling him divisive, nasty, insulting and demeaning in a statement. So LeBron James, he should face, he should just focus on basketball rather than presiding over the destruction of the nba this is what this is what trump said so okay i'm not gonna go through all that trump said and all that i just say all that just to let you know that the racial tension in the united states of america is still very high okay and uh that's probably the reason why a lot of people are looking at lebron's son and are saying yo man for all we've been through, y'all really choose white girls? I'm going to leave this podcast listening piece right here with this message right here. I've seen Serena and Venus. Serena and Venus, right? Venus, the greatest tennis player that ever lived female tennis player that ever lived Serena her sister I mean Serena the greatest tennis player that female tennis player that ever lived Venus her sister also a top of the line tennis player world class their daddy was a man who fought his way through a gang banging neighborhood in Compton California to make sure that his daughters got to where they needed to be in life right okay at the end of the day, both his daughters chose white men. None of them said, I'm going to marry a strong black man and build a family with a strong black man. They both chose white men, but I don't see anybody up in arms about it. And these are adults 
who we could freely talk about and express ourselves. So I don't see why people are all up in arms about teenagers with their little puppy love, if it's that, going to the prom together. Y'all leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV. Y'all already know when the topic is hot, I'm on it. I'm out. Peace.